we've taken care of all of our user routes. Now let's move on to our post routes, which I'll begin with slash API slash posts. But before we do so, before we create our first route handler, or the functionality for it at least, it's important to note that sometimes in our routes, in particular for making a post request to get a new post, to add a new post, we're using the user ID param, so we're executing get user by ID, and then we're calling check auth. Well, sometimes in our get user ID function, and if we go to our user controller, and we take a look at get user by ID, we're comparing the profile ID that we're getting from the find one call where we're finding user by ID. We're comparing the profile ID with the user ID, the authenticated user ID. And it's important to note that since we're executing this sometimes before our check auth function, it's possible that we may not have anything on the request body on the user property of request, meaning before check auth has the ability to redirect us to sign in, we're going to execute get user by ID, and we're going to co potentially compare profile ID with request.user.id. So this might result in a problem if we are wanting to compare this ID on an object that might not exist. So within our conditional say, only if we have a user object on our request are we going to make this comparison and then say is auth user is true if our profile ID and our user ID are equal. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back to our routes and in order to start working with posts to make git requests and update them say by liking or unliking, commenting or uncommenting them we need to first have posts so we'll go down to where we're making a post request to add a post and the flow of this should look quite familiar we're getting a user by ID, their ID we're checking off, we're uploading an image if we have one we're resizing that image and we're adding a post so what was most likely the most difficult part of our user routes will be rather easy here. You can grab a lot of the functionality that we included for updating our user, which included uploading an avatar and resizing an avatar, and we can re-implement that for adding a post. So we'll go to our user controller, and we'll head to where we're uploading our avatar. We'll first grab the avatar upload options configuration object. We'll head to our post controller and we'll go to upload image here at the top. So we'll bring that in but we'll rename this object image upload options. We don't need to change anything else for now. And then we'll bring in our upload image function. In fact it's just this line here upload avatar. We can copy that and we'll change avatar upload options to image upload options and we're going to upload a single image. For resize image we'll gra grab resize avatar. We can in fact grab the entire function and replace it. The changes that we need to make include changing request.body.avatar to request.body.image. We're not going to write this to the avatars folder just to slash static slash uploads. We'll resize the image to 750 by 750, and we're going to write now to request.body.image, this whole path right here. And for add post, it'll share some of the features that we had with update user, but of course, this won't be a put request, it'll be a post. So we'll make this async. We'll have request and response. Instead of the updated at field, we'll say request.body.posted by set the posted by value to the current user, their ID. We'll await new post. But of course to create a new post we need to bring in that model. So we'll bring in everything. First we'll bring in Multer. We'll bring in Jimp. Bring in Mongoose. as well as our post model with mongoose.model and the string post. So we'll create a new post from the request body. 
we'll need to call save here to persist it to our database. We'll set this equal to the post variable. Then we want to populate this ID that we're putting in posted by to get the current user's ID, name, and avatar. So we'll await post.populate, pass in the newly created post, and then an object, which will first include the path. What do we want to populate? Well, the posted by field, since it contains the ID. And I have a select property, very much like the select method, where you can select the properties from the model that we're referencing in populate. So the ref is the user model. So from the user model, we can get the user's ID, name, and avatar. And we'll return with response.json and pass in the post. Now we'll just save and head to postman. And let's take a look at our route one more time. So the route is slash API slash post slash new and the user ID that we're currently signed in with. So we'll grab that. And we need to replace user ID with an actual user's ID. So in a new tab, I'll just make a get request for our users to get Joan's ID. I think she's the one I'm currently authenticated with put the user's ID at the very end of the path after new. And then we're making a post request here. For body, we'll use form data since we are adding an image. So to add a post, we'll first have a text key, the value of hello. All of our posts must have text. Now the image is optional. Set that to file, we'll choose a file, we'll choose our logo again. and we'll hit send and it looks like we are given the sign in page so why is that well this is the result of redirecting from check auth if we head back to our auth controller you can see that if we return false from the is authenticated method we're going to redirect it's not going to be passed on to the next function so that's why it loads the HTML and all of the CSS for our sign-in page wants us to sign in. So if necessary, we can go to slash API slash auth slash sign in. This will be a post. And for our body, we'll have our email. and our password. Hopefully I remember these correctly. And this will be JSON data. Make sure you set text to JSON. And we hit send. Make sure you get double quotes in the correct places, otherwise you'll get an error. So it looks like I logged in successfully. So then we can try posting again. I'll hit send. And it looks like we're getting returned to us a new post. We have our text of hello, an image referring to the uploads folder and static. And it's created according to the user's username and the current timestamp. We see who it's posted by since we populated it with their ID name and avatar. And we also have our empty comments and likes arrays.